Hey there, it's Meredith. I'm here with our message for Thursday, July 11th, 2019. We are using the Angel Tarot for today's message. I am deliberately uh, switching up the decks and shuffling, spending a great deal of um, <laughs> meditation on the shuffling because our theme is so repetitive right now. I want to make sure the decks are fresh and you know, not the same deck over and over, poorly shuffled. <laughs> so, let's see what we get today. Fresh cards, right? First is Ten of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, theme of the day. This is putting our attention and our intention on our long-term happiness. Ten of Pentacles is all about that. It's uh, reward of prior effort and reward in the now for the oncoming, which is fantastic. It's... It's very much connected to our relationships. We're seeing a lot of those cards in the readings too. The Two of Cups, the Lovers, they've come in repetition. So we're focused on our relationships. And are they on a foundation of happiness right now? I say yes, considering what we're seeing uh, over and over. <laughs> um, all right, let's take a look at our first, see how this 10 connects. We have the Eight of Cups. I love this card. Uh, <laughs> some people consider it a cringer because it indicates that someone is leaving or departing as if leaving uh, a situation or a relationship. I don't feel that. I feel this is a journey inward. Uh, certainly we have had a lot of cards about that, starting with ourselves and how the relationship to self flows into the ripple of energy that we broadcast, that we share with us everywhere we go, and how that has an effect on every connection we make. So I see the Eight of Cups uh, in that light, not so much someone leaving and uh, something that is, you know, sad. I don't feel that at all on the Eight of Cups. It's kind of an exciting journey. It's also being on a good foundation and moving to an even better foundation. <laughs> And that's a message that we've seen a lot of as well. Ten of Pentacles. We're really in a phase of reinforcing our happiness and reinforcing our foundation. So I feel the eight connects to that nicely. Coming with it, the star. <laughs> you know, the star card is a manifestation card. It is pure raw intention for, for your life. And... It follows the tower card. The being on the star has walked out of the debris field of the tower and has gone to the river of life to co-create a whole new beginning, a whole new foundation, right? Focused on long-term happiness. An old foundation cracked, fell away, couldn't support the tower. It came down, and here we are in recreation mode. It's, it's a beautiful card. It's uh, also connected quite strongly to the strength card in tarot there are typically eight stars on this card but it's us following our guiding star having the strength for the journey <laughs> and not compromising the happiness beautiful let's see what comes with it judgment well, we're going to need to see a couple more cards there judgment is an, a reassessment card it is a review and it's a card of new, fresh, and sometimes recycled opportunity. So when we see judgment, we'd like to know what we're being called to on the card and what we're being called out of. So what we're being called to. The cards are hammering at home. It's all about happiness. See? Happiness. <laughs> Our ten and the sun, they go together. We're being called to happiness. So we're in a review right now. Perhaps that's happening on the star card. And maybe even on the eight because there's movement. There's action in that eight. And we're moving more expansively into the ten. More expansively into the sun. Our relationship to self is solid. And our relationship to others, family, friends, beloved, also solid. So now we want to know, what is the judgment card calling us out of? Hmm. 
and here it is again. Hello, Scorpio, death card. Transformation, simultaneous endings and beginnings. So when I see this card with judgment in the position of being called out of transformation, my feeling here is that we're being called deeper into transformation on a personal level within our with, within our foundation. Uh, but that extends also, just like the sun, just like the ten, the eight even, and the star, into all of our other connections. It's an invitation to celebrate, celebrate the transformation that you have undergone recently and the one that's unfolding now between the eclipses. So last week we had a new moon and a solar eclipse, both in the sign of Cancer, uh, eclipses are gateways and portals of energy that we step through, step into, and we're between eclipses now because there's a lunar eclipse coming at the end of the month in Capricorn. So the death card here with judgment and the sun gives you <laughs> bliss, joy, peace, happiness, love, connection, communication, all of those amazing energies from the sun with within the portal between the eclipses to sort of do a review of judgment on the death card, transformation, simultaneous endings and beginnings, what's in the new horizon for you, uh, what's, what's in consideration for you, star card again, and how does it connect and relate to your long-term happiness, and is every step you take, eight of cups, movement, bringing you closer to that. So here again, the theme repeats. So we're going to go with it. We're going to roll with it, right? <laughs> Let's go on to Angel Answers. This is your opportunity to ask a question, as always, if you've got one. If not, allow them to be a confirmation for you. What do Angel Answers want to say to us today? <laughs> Emphatic yes, again, is that the third time this week we've seen it? I think it might be. Yes. <laughs> if you're asking a question, it's an emphatic yes. Uh, if you're in consideration for something, let's go to the judgment card here with that yes. If you're in consideration, uh, sort of <laughs> lingering in that portal of should I, shouldn't I? The feeling is yes, lean into it. Next. <laughs> and another repeat for us trust I know we've seen it this week but we've seen it a lot in at least three weeks it shows up once or twice so trust yourself trust the journey trust your experience and uh, trust your transformation next <laughs> and this one too uh, yeah, kind of a funny ha-ha, because we are in a Mercury retrograde, so communication can sometimes get sticky. <laughs> so, communicate clearly, no verbal clutter, and if you don't understand something the first time you hear it, ask. Don't fill in the blanks. <laughs> That's good advice always. All right, let's do our affirmation card from The Universe Has Your Back. I am a spirit having a human experience, and I am here to get closer to love. Yes, you are. <laughs> Take that eight of cups and get closer to it. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for hanging in there for this theme that is repeating. Apparently, we need to hear it over and over again till we get it. I'm excited about that. There's some anticipation here that's um, really delightful. So trust yourself. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Leave a comment if you're guided. Bye for now.